Um, back of the white wall again. I'm making this video to talk about Doctor Who, which is in about two hours and forty-eight minutes. Um, I'm very excited. Um, some people I know are doing certain things to Doctor Who. For example, um, one of my friends is having a Doctor Who party, um, and so she and a couple of other people are watching it together. Um, and then other people still are live blogging. I know a lot of the Tumblr people are either live blogging or they are um, doing a sort of no holds barred thing on spoilers and then after 24 hours they're going to let spoilers fly. Um, so personally we bought some jelly beans um, for the classic Doctor nod um, and fish fingers and custard. Um, they're not real fish fingers. We're making cake. Um, I've seen it done before. Cake shaped like fish fingers and then we're just going to have it with custard. Um, and then I might steal my brother's inflatable TARDIS and bash him over the head with it or something. Um, I'm not really a person who likes watching TV shows with other people. Um, because I'll, when there's someone there, I kind of feel the need to talk. Um, either that or they will talk and I'll be really irritated. Um, so I'll probably be alone or watching it alone in my room and sort of being scared to death. Because I've seen a couple of the previews there. I've seen the one with the CCTV of the van. If you haven't, you should check it out. It's on the BBC website somewhere. I've only been linked via Tumblr, so I don't know the um, how I got how you get to it from the BBC website. Um, I've seen that one and the one of President. Uh, I won't say which president because you might not know. Um, of the president in his office talking to someone, um, and you should watch those two as well. And because Stephen Moffat is just. He's so it's really scary, and I think it's because of the way most of his horror his horror elements are psychological so you'll have these statues and sort of you know you could just walk past them but especially ever since I saw that episode when I go to London if I'm sort of walking and I kind of look up and I see a statue I sort of sort of start start looking a bit odd and start blinking like this um and the midnight episode really freaked me out because you never knew what it was and sort of my mind was coming up with all these really scary um type things um and even with, I don't think Stephen Moffat wrote the episode uh, Gridlock with the Macra, but before they were revealed, that's freaking me out too. And I think it's because I've got quite an active imagination. So if you give me something, um, I will make it in something worse than it is. Uh, a prime example of that is Marble Hornets, um, which is a YouTube series. You should check that out, but watch it in the daytime. Watch it in the daytime. Um, and it's, I think it was based on the Slenderman mythos. Um, if you don't know what Slenderman is, uh, just Google it. It's an urban legend, I think, started by the Goonies at the Something Awful forums. And um, my friend went, oh, yeah, it's, it's really good. And I sort of foolishly asked what it was. And they said, oh, it's this YouTube series. Look at it. I couldn't get to episode four without having to stop. And I was like, oh, that's so pathetic. Why couldn't you get to... Because uh, each video is uh, like a mini episode. Um, and I was like, oh, that's pathetic. Why can't you make it to number four? Um... I only managed to make it to number five because on the fifth one I turned the sound off and kept switching tabs whenever it freaked me out. Um, so it's it's kind of scary but I think um, it's a Blair Witch Project-esque type thing so if you don't have, if you're not in the mood or if you're watching it with like a group of friends and you have all, like you're not in the mood to use your imagination you probably don't find it funny or scary at all um, because obviously it's done by some YouTube type people, not not even the Blair Witch Project, who, although they had a tiny budget, they had £25,000, I think? No, yeah, I think. Um, and obviously, I don't think the Marble Hornets people had access to that. Um, oh, my nails! After having said I wasn't a nail person, I've literally, since I painted my nails in the Hogwarts colours, I've sort of been in nail fever. Um, I, I, we've got a tradition in our family that instead of buying Easter eggs of chocolate, now that my brothers and I are older, um, we get about the same amount of money you'd spend on an Easter egg to buy something small. And I wanted to buy some brightly coloured nail varnish to do the Hogwarts house colours. Um, and they didn't have the proper Ravenclaw blue. So I, I bought a metallic blue anyway because... I, I should have really bought Hufflepuff yellow, but I didn't. Um, and this is the silver for Slytherin. And it worked really well. And it when I, when I have my whole nail covered in silver, it looks very alien-like. Um, so I look like I'm either from a pop video or, like, my skin should be all blue and veiny and scary. Um, so I should probably try some of my flexible hand tricks on someone and freak them out uh, later. Um, so yeah, apart from that, I'm just really excited about Doctor Who and I can't wait and going to be a total geek about it. My mum says I'm really sad. 
um, I said how excited I was. I went, I, because I'm counting every so often. I randomly see how many hours and minutes it is until Doctor Who, and she sort of goes, "We're so sad," um, which is kind of mean. But it it was originally a kid show, so I, I think a lot of people do find it quite sad when someone gets excited. But as John Green said, being a nerd's awesome. Uh, no, it was Hank Green. No, it was John Green. I can't tell. Um, being a nerd is awesome because you're allowed to like stuff, um, which I do. And I think that's been a long enough rant. Oh, rant, sorry. Um, my last video, the uh, Little Raj uh, video response, got quite a lot of comments because I think a lot of people looked at it via Little Raj's channel. And everyone was really nice. And um, so I thought I'd update because otherwise I'll forget about this project. Just like a real diary. Um, so I don't really have a schedule or know what I'm supposed to be talking about, but... I'll probably carry on doing this for a while. Um, so yeah, bye!